There's no way of knowing how many cartel execution videos are circulating online, but we do know there are a lot, and each one is trying to be even more gruesome than the last. But there's one that stands out. People who watch the worst crime videos have said that this was the one they couldn't stop thinking about. But it's not because it's the most violent video out there, it's because it's the saddest. This video captured a tragedy that left a community in tears. Anyone who ever had a loved one go missing will be able to understand the horror that these people were faced with when this video surfaced online. But that's not the worst bit. See, most cartel videos are committed against rival gang members or traitors. The people dying are criminals who have probably murdered others themselves. That doesn't justify what happens to them, but it does make it less shocking than this video. That's because the victim here is a teenage girl. We'll walk you through what happens in the video, with every detail included so you don't have to watch it. And we're warning you now that you definitely shouldn't seek it out. Even hardcore cartel video watchers say this might be the worst one ever. You will not be able to sleep at night after watching it, and you might even find our description too much to take. If you need your curiosity filled, then keep watching. But if you're sensitive or have a vivid imagination, you might want to click away now. We're not the only ones who found this video shocking. In fact, there was a time when cartel members were forbidden from killing women or children. The violence was almost always committed within the bounds of organized crime. But since the emergence of the new cartels in the late 1990s, this has changed. Now, cartels are even more violent than they used to be, and civilians aren't just caught up in the violence, they're sometimes actively targeted. That means these criminals kill women and children all the time. But the cartels aren't the only problem. There has been a huge spike in murders of women in the country over the last few decades. It is so bad now that some speculate women are being targeted as victims of the illegal organ trade in snuff films. Some of the murder victims have been found in disturbing positions that have led to rumors that they're being sacrificed in ritualistic magic ceremonies. And some have even suggested that women are being kidnapped and sold to billionaire businessmen so they can torture and murder them, like in the film Hostel. None of these theories have been verified, but as most of the murders and disappearances are unsolved, there's no way of proving this isn't true either. But this video probably wasn't that. There are some answers about what it relates to, but they aren't enough to understand what really happened. The story behind this video starts long before it surfaced online. Maria Fernanda Garcia Alvarez was born in 2004. She lived what appeared to be a pretty ordinary life until she went missing in the city of Toluca in July 2021. That means she was only 16 years old when she disappeared. Her family immediately started searching for her, putting up posters with pictures of her face and descriptions of what she was wearing the day she went missing. The family also identified a young man she'd been seen with, asking anyone who knew where he was to contact the authorities. To this day, it's unclear whether he was involved. The community tried to help, joining in the family's hope that they'd find the teenager alive. But ideas were already spreading that her disappearance might be related to gang activity. Toluca isn't plagued by cartels in the same way that other Mexican cities can be. It's fairly quiet, despite the reported presence of the CJNG and Sinaloa cartel in the city. But the area does have problems with smaller local gangs that can become violent. It's unclear whether the smaller gangs or one of the big cartels were responsible. Either way, it turned out the community searching for Maria was right to worry about gang activity. Just five days after she was reported missing, a horrific video surfaced online that dashed everyone's hope of finding Maria alive. It's only about 2 minutes and 30 seconds long, but it stands out as one of the saddest cartel videos ever put online. The video opens in a rural area. Maria is wearing jeans and a t-shirt covered in dots. She's seated with her hands tied behind her back. One gang member is holding a gun against her temple, while another man on the other side of her has her hair in his fist to keep her still and a knife against her throat. A third gang member holds the camera. The first 50 seconds of the video is some kind of interrogation. The interrogator's voice is disguised, making him sound robotic, which only adds to how disturbing the video really is. He asks her name, and she confirms that she is Maria Fernanda Garcia Alvarez. He then asks more questions, but the most interesting one is when he questions who ordered her to infiltrate them. She answers that it was Fernando Mendoza. However, nobody has been able to track down anyone called Fernando Mendoza or gang activity related to him. So what was really going on is still a mystery. But even if she was involved in infiltrating their gang, that's still no excuse for what they're about to do to this 16-year-old girl. The gang member ends his interrogation with terrifying words that translate to, we'll see how much you want to play with us. She's clearly terrified already, and you can see how panicked her breathing is. 
Even though the violence hasn't started yet, the video is already distressing to watch, as you'd expect from something that shows a child fearing for her life. Now the Sicarios have all the information they need caught on camera. The man holding the knife places his hand over Maria's mouth and she begins to scream, pleading for her life. She clearly knows the violence is about to start. The killer moves in closer, positioning his blade under her chin. And as he starts moving it from side to side, something stomach-churning suddenly becomes clear. The blade isn't sharp. If you look close, it seems to be an old steak knife. Whatever it is, it's very blunt. Too blunt to slice into Maria's flesh. It's far more aggressive and obviously painful than it would have been if the blade were sharp. It feels like forever before the blade finally penetrates her flesh. Now, the pitch of her scream changes dramatically. She tries to struggle, hoping to break free, but she's held securely by the other Sicario so she cannot move. The killer continues to move the knife back and forth, and the wound slowly gets bigger and bigger. Maria's screams become deeper and more animal-like, and she begins to sob even though her killer's hand is still over her mouth. Somehow, she manages to free her head by flicking it to the side, and she screams as loud as she can. The piercing sound echoes back, creating a feeling that nobody could have heard her. The Sicario quickly subdues her by putting his hand over her mouth again, but he does it in a way that seems obviously angry or maybe even panicked. It doesn't last though. In seconds, he's back to trying to slice through Maria's throat with his blunt blade. She keeps trying to scream, even with his hand over her mouth, but now it seems more like a scream of pain than a cry for help. After about a minute of this torture, the killer seems to become frustrated. This is where it begins to look like he's not a professional. He definitely doesn't look like the skilled executioners you see in some cartel videos. He stops trying to saw through her neck and instead points the tip of the blade into the wound. He then uses the palm of his hand to hit the back of the knife to drive it into her throat. The sound of her scream changes and you can just about hear the air escaping from her lungs. The knife has probably pierced through her windpipe. The killer leaves the blade in that position, levering it from side to side to try to increase the size of the wound. Maria is still clearly awake, but her screams are becoming quieter now as the Sicario tears her throat apart. The killer removes the knife and is starting to look desperate to get the job done, so he stabs her in the stomach several times with the same blunt knife. Some people who have seen the video have suggested that this might be the first time the Sicario has killed someone. It's well known that cartels make new members torture and kill rival gang members as part of the initiation into the cartel. Nobody knows for sure, but that might be what we're seeing here. At this point, he definitely looks like he wants to get this over with. He goes back to trying to slice through her neck. It seems easier to make the wound deeper with the blunt knife now that he's created the puncture wound. She screams again, but the sound is distorted from the gurgling and wheezing created by the hole in her windpipe. You can hear the air creating a bubbling noise as it tries to move through all the blood. The killer tries violently stabbing her throat again. This time, Maria's body immediately goes limp and she stops struggling but she's clearly still breathing. It's possible the killer severed her nerve in her neck, making her paralyzed. The killer gives the knife another wiggle while it's jammed into her neck. He's breathing heavily now. He turns to the camera and does a peace sign with his fingers before the video ends. We've covered some of the most gruesome cartel videos out there, but this one stands out as one of the hardest to watch. That's because it feels so tragic. The person losing their life in this violent way isn't a criminal or a killer themselves. It's a teenage girl who never should have been in this world in the first place. She definitely should never have died in such a violent way. There's just no way to justify what happened to her. If you had any doubt about how cruel the gangs can be, this video is proof of the vicious nature of crime in Mexico. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section, and before you leave, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Criminal Corner so you don't miss the next ones.